Apple made a big splash when they came out with their new MacBook Pro, which had a slightly different keyboard and a touch bar. But here's what I think they should do. Here's something that's been bugging me for years. I have Macs, a lot of Macs, MacBooks, iMacs, Mac minis, and so forth. But one of the things that really drove me crazy is uh, when you get a Mac, whether it's a MacBook or a, a, a you know iMac or whatever it is, the keyboard selection is pretty much two things. You can either have one that looks like this, or you can have one that looks like this. Now, do you see the difference, the one on top? Well, that's what a full-size keyboard is supposed to be. It's got numbers on the side. It's got a dedicated area for the arrow keys, so you can, you know, they're, it's very easy to figure out where they are. And then, of course, there's page up, page down, insert, delete, so forth, a uh, home and end as well. That's the way a keyboard has been made pretty much since the 80s. That's how keyboards are. But every time Apple comes out with a wireless keyboard, it looks like the one on the bottom. What's up with that? Why is it? that if you want wireless, your only choice is that. Where the arrow keys are scrunched up in the lower right hand corner, there's no numbers. You don't have page up, page down, home, end, insert, delete. You don't have any of that. I mean, yeah, they're there and you got some keys, you gotta hold down the, the function key to do that. And yeah, I get it, there's no page down, so you can hold down the function, hit the down arrow, I get it. But the bottom line is there's something special about a full size keyboard. If you use a spreadsheet, or if you just do a lot of number crunching, or if you simply just hate moving back and forth to do the numbers, you want a number pad. That's just more professional. And I love wireless devices. I hate wires. So what Apple needs to do is make a wireless keyboard like on the bottom, but with the key layout, for the one you see on the top. And that's today's idea of the day. So that's it. That's today's idea of the day. Yeah, yeah, some of them are better, I gotta admit. But if you really wanna see a new idea each day, some of them are gonna be good, some of them are gonna suck. What are you gonna do? Subscribe and visit ideaoftheday.com.